Right now, if you're an unsigned Christian artist, then listen up because you are about to hear about a very exciting opportunity just for you. Unsigned. I have the lovely Tula Lynch in the studio. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's so much fun when you go. I feel like I see you a lot at the moment, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> Extended family. <laughs> yeah. And we've got something very important to talk about because, as you may have heard, uh, on the promo going out across the stations, we are hosting, well, rather Tula is hosting with Unbox Arts, the experiment again in conjunction with us here at Unsigned. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited that you decided to do another one. I know you put a huge amount of work and effort into the last one. Whatever yeah. possessed you to do it all again so soon? I think I lost my mind after the last one. <laughs> no, I think it's um, it was a lot of fun. We had a good time last time. And um, although I knew that it would be a lot of work to put on another one so soon, um, I thought it would be really good to keep the ball rolling because there are a lot of really great people that we met. Um, at the last event and it would be good to keep in touch with them again and you know just have lots of fun and yes yeah, so we thought we'd go again and as well as that it's going to be my birthday around the time of the next one yay yeah, well. it's a double so, course for celebration yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a bit about the last one what were the highlights for you like if you kind of had to give an overview of, of how the last one went what would you say wow um i think the Juice Gallery was really good. We had a lot of fantastic people in there and I know um, that they sold really well. There were all sorts of stuff like jewellery, which we didn't have before. We had somebody doing makeovers, which we didn't have before as well. So that was really cool. Um, as well as that, in the actual experiment itself, the music was fantastic. I, I personally enjoyed it. We had um, Hidden Man, we had Israel Allen, we had... Um, Cherie Johnson, who was the winner from the last experiment. Lovely girl, yeah, very talented. Yeah, all these different people. Triple O, we had Message come down, we had just a whole load of fantastic people. And I personally enjoyed the relaxed atmosphere. That was really nice for me. So are all of these elements going to be in the next one? Like, Are you going to be having the Juice Gallery as well in May? Yeah, we will be, we will be. And... Um, we're thinking of doing this one slightly different again, um, adding a few more, a few new people. I'm not going to say just yet because we're still in the process of planning and confirming. <laughs> but yeah, a few different stalls that we're going to have this time as well. Brilliant, exciting yeah. stuff. Well, I know that we um, on the promo it's saying it's going to be bigger and better this year. Um, how? What can the artists win in addition? What's going to make it bigger and better this time? Well, last time we had. Um, the fantastic opportunity of people coming in to have an interview with yourself. Oh, <laughs> the best bit about the of prize. Of course, <laughs> of course. And as well as that, um, they got the opportunity, Cherie got the opportunity last time to sing at our showcase, which again was fantastic. She did a really, really good job. And this time, what makes it even better is where um, we're going to have the opportunity as well for the winner to have a slot on Sunday Night Live and unsigned. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that's going to be good. Oh, and um, yeah, also to have a, a page on our website, which should be good. That would be really, really good for them. Yeah. It's basically a brilliant opportunity for any unsigned Christian artist, really. I mean, yes. they're getting some exposure, you're getting some publicity because you're going to be on the radio, and you're also getting some like, hugely valuable performance experience. In a, a safe environment, people are going to be yeah. for people there. I mean, you, you yeah. mentioned how it was relaxed, so it really is a great um, place to perform at, isn't it? If it's somebody, even if they're fairly inexperienced, would you say? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that... Um, it was quite special last time as well, you know, because everybody just came ready to have a bit of a laugh and all that kind of stuff. I think for me personally, I'm quite a chilled out person, not really one of those people who really? are... Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very relaxed, yeah, probably a little bit too chilled out sometimes. <laughs> but, um, you know, what we said is that we didn't want any huge egos and you know people coming in and saying oh you know I'm better than such and such and all that kind no of stuff. divas allowed no <laughs> no divas or male no divas. exactly <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's that's something that we're really we're really big on just a nice chilled out atmosphere brilliant mm. so I guess one of the things that I wanted to ask you is because you've already run this now and you've had some submissions and we'll speak about how people can submit in a minute um Based on that, what advice would you want to give to any entrants who might want to? In fact, I guess before we say that, tell us how people enter the competition. 
Okay. Um, what I would ask for people to do is to find a computer or their phone or a video camera or whatever they can that can record and video themselves singing or rapping or their group playing or whatever. And it would just be a short video, nothing too fancy or overly edited edited or anything like that um, and send it over to us at unboxed arts info at unboxed arts.com um, i'll say the full address properly later and then once they've done that we post that on our website and we allow everybody to vote and choose who they'd like to see on the night and then the top three um, from those there's one chosen by a panel of experts <laughs> <laughs> who will be who will be um choosing who will be doing it on the night who will be seeing on the night and can absolutely anybody enter this? What's the criteria that you're looking for? Okay, um, the age range that we usually say is from 16 plus. We also say that we'd really like to have gospel artists. The message must be something that is positive and that inspires and that, you know, really encourages people. So I think those are the two main things. Any style, um, any kind of form it comes in quirky creative we love it all <laughs> so yeah it's quite open like that and it doesn't have to at all be a professional video it doesn't have to, people don't have to spend money on this like as you said they can just do it on their phone you just want yeah. to be able to see them clearly and hear the track that's yeah. the idea yeah last time we had people recording from in their cars <laughs> people recording in their front room people doing all sorts of stuff it's just really just very simple yeah Great, so there you go, there's the challenge, easy to do. And, and now the question that I was gonna ask you before, mm -hmm. uh, Tula, what advice would you want to give to anyone in regards with their, their submission? What sort of things should they be thinking about? Uh, what sort of things should any unsigned artist who, who wants to take part in this be prioritizing and kind of honing in on? Um, I think the first thing that I would say is um, recognizing that you are talented, you know, because I think there are a lot of people who are very talented and don't realize that they are or who are talented and kind of run away from it <laughs> and um, feel that maybe they not may not be able to do it. I think the first thing is to recognise that you have something that you can share. And then following that, um, being able to um, take what they have and just display it in the best way possible. You know, put as much effort as you can into every performance that you can give. You know, don't just go halfway. Give your very best at every opportunity, even if it is the smallest kind of opportunity. And remembering that, you know, there are so many different kinds of artists out there. You know, not everybody's going to be the same. Everybody's kind of looking to be like this person or looking to be like that person. But just remembering that, you know, every talent or skill that is different, it's still valid, it's still something special, as long as it's something that you know that you really love and it's God given. Great advice there. <laughs> so I guess the final thing to say is when is the deadline, when do people need to get their videos in by and also where do they send them, give us that address nice and clearly. Okay, entrants need to send their videos in by the 31st of March midnight on the 31st of March and then after that we will not be taking any more so please make sure you send them in on time um, and the address to send them to is info at unboxed-arts.com and unboxed is spelled u-n-b-o-x-d and then dash a-r-t-s dot com brilliant stuff and all of the details that you've just heard from Tula are on the unsigned web page as well so if that one's easier to remember it's premier.org.uk forward slash unsigned and of course you can find full details of the last experiment and lots of lovely things from Tula if you go to the Unboxed Arts website as well. Thank you so much for sharing with us and um, I hope you'll come back and tell us how it's going. I know you're going to be speaking on some of the other shows as well but it's really exciting and thanks for involving us again in this. Ah, we look forward you. to seeing who is going to come through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.